Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another North Cascades uh, late season hike in uh, beautiful Washington State. And uh, Jen, where are we hiking today? Today we are hiking uh, Hidden Lake Lookout. Hidden Lake Lookout, which is um, what it sounds like. It's a lookout. Uh, it's cool. It's in the North Cascades. Uh, it's about an eight mile round trip with 3,200, 3,300 feet of gain or so. And supposedly this is, the views are phenomenal. Yeah, the views are phenomenal. We actually got some views on the ride up, which is really interesting because it's about four miles of really rugged, narrow, one car only uh, mountain logging type business. Uh, we had to like pull off into a ditch to let a car pass. Uh, so high clearance vehicle is uh, advised. Um, you don't need a pass here. There are no facilities here. Um, what else do we know, Jen? Uh, I don't know. There's not much parking here either. Uh, <laughs> as you can see, um, we got here at 1030 and the lot has about maybe five spaces left. Uh, there was one overnighter that we did pull off for, but um, what do you say uh, we hit the trail? Let's do it. Jen's really nervous right now because there's people that just pulled in and they're listening to us and she's freaking out. I'm not freaking out. Well, maybe a little bit. That's why she's talking really quiet too, so she hopes that they don't hear He's her. gonna have to bump up the game. Yeah, it's gonna have to be way bumped up. Just just mine. Yeah. I'm sorry. Alright. Just can't handle the pressure. That's right. Um yeah, otherwise I don't think anything else you need to know. Okay. So uh Remember to wear clothing because it's bear hunting season. Yeah, it's also um, 38 degrees up here. Yep. So that's quite a change from down there because when we were driving in, it was 50 and looking yep. like it was going to be warm. So puffies, layers, layers are advised. Yeah, and the weather forecast is for uh, cloudy to partly cloudy um, and then getting clearer throughout the day. It did rain last night, which means snow. Oh yeah, there's... It looks like there's a lot of snow up there. I, it's it's hard to tell, but everything's frosted white. Yep. Um, I've been reading reports of snow on recent trip reports. Uh, so yeah, it'll be beautiful and cold, and we yeah. have micro spikes, and we're prepared. Yeah, I got our spikes, and uh, I got some new mittens or mitts. So if it does get too cold, my fingers will stay warm. Hopefully, they should. They, they're like they're rated for. 15 degrees or something. <laughs> well, it won't hit 15, but... Well, you know, my fingers think it's 15. Yeah, so one thing about the lookout is it's... The lookout is actually not on the summit of the peak. The peak is Hidden Lake Peak. Um, okay. The, that's about 200 feet higher. It tops out at just over 7,000 feet, which is... Well, that's pretty... That's pretty high. It's going to be a lot of snow. So the lookout itself is around 6,800 feet elevation or so. There is a lake. That's why it's called Hidden Lake yep. Peak. Yep, yep. And uh, you can't bring your dog up to the lake, but you can take your dog if it's leashed on the trail. Okay, interesting. Um, and the lookout is decommissioned, but it's held together by a group of volunteers. And recently they uh, just redid the roofing. Now the way that they got all the shingles up there is there was somebody down here with just a truckload of shingles asking people hiking up to, hey, will you strap uh, this set of shingles to uh, your pack and carry it up? And Thankfully, people were nice enough and they did that. So there's a new roof on the lookout and uh, you can camp in there if you want, but you gotta get there earlier because there's gonna be people in there. <laughs> yeah, it's first come, first serve. And I guess it's kind of being used as a, a living museum. Oh, okay. So that might cool. be cool. All right. So we're signing into the trailhead here and um, this is important because this is how they uh, see how much traffic these are getting, and then they uh, allot the appropriate resources to the trails. So in case you were thinking that maybe this is not a popular hike, this is all of 2017. So far? Oh gosh. This is all of just a few months in 2017. So oh yeah. It's, it's pretty popular. There's actually no room left to sign in. So we're going to be riding on the top of one of these things. All right, well, while Jen does that, um, I'm going to look out for bears. Just kidding, it's not really bear country. But, all right, there you have it. Let's uh, get hiking.
Ah, first bit of snowfall. Nothing too much, but you can hear something down there. Oh, can't see it's a little blown out, but there you go. There's some snowy stuff up there. Yeah, this is all slushy. Pretty relatively new. Nothing in the forest, just when you get in these outcroppings. So I'm really curious to see what kind of conditions we have up there. <laughs> the trail's wet. Kind so of how, are the, how are the conditions, Jen? <laughs> so the trail's wet, a little bit muddy, lots of little water features to walk across. Um, and in and out you get like maybe half an inch or less of really slushy snow. Nice. So we're only a few hundred feet into this. So. Yeah, we're like 600 feet in 20 minutes. So it's gonna get pretty good. I'm gonna predict five to six inches up top. Whoa, well let's go find out. getting hot. It was down, micro layers, and uh, <laughs> gotta pay attention here because it's a little slippery. <laughs> Jen about slipped off the mountain here and I could see why. Oh, geez. <laughs> a big dog and then a tiny dog are afoot. Oh, there you go. Big, big frosty peak. Starting to uh, wonder about the summit conditions. <laughs> so as you can see, there's a peak up there and uh, we don't know what the peak's name is. It's not on uh, my maps, but Hidden Lake Peak, or Hidden Lakes Peak is up there, or Hidden Lake Peaks is more over that way, yeah. Um, but look at these trees after the first snow, they're already bending over. Everything is uh, giving up very quickly here. Soon this will be just feet and feet of snow and you won't even see these trees. Yeah, and actually I believe, I remember reading that this is not a good hike to do uh, later in the season when there is a lot of snow because it's very steep. The slopes are very exposed and it is super avalanche -y. It looks steep and so, avalanche -y. Early, early fall. Yep. Early fall, probably a good, good, about as late as you want to go for this one. Right now. Right now. Right now, we're doing it. We are. We are doing we it. We are going. All right, well let's then go. let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, snow bombs. Got sunglasses. Good job. Whew. Snow's all falling off. This would all just come down right at you, take you out. Oh, what happened? On today's episode of Outside and Unprepared for Stuff, Jen forgets sunglasses and sunglasses. improvises with a rain shell. There you go. Yeah, we've uh, de-layered. It is hot out here. I don't know if you can hear it, 
but there's no wind. Uh, and you're starting to see a few peaks pop out. Um, but we got our, I've spiked up. I think Jen's gonna spike up. Yep. Conditions are good. This is like the first snow. I'm loving it. Gonna be putting some sunblock on here shortly. But uh, yeah, the lowlands are in clouds and the highlands are in the blue. Let's watch uh, Jen's technique here. Yep, find the toe, just and then step down onto the ground, and then drag it the, around the back. That's how it Kinda goes. what I did. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Good job. Thanks. Oh, this is, this is pretty tragic. <laughs> <sighs> there are a lot of people coming up the slope. Every time I look back, I see a new group. Uh, parking lot is gonna be full by the time we get back, that's for sure. Whew. Nice hat. What's that? Nice hat. Oh, thanks. It's the hat your body wears. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, improvising. Yep. Oh, pretty cool, huh, Jen? This is amazing. Yep. So are you. Oh, thank you. like to amend my earlier snow depth prediction upward. Yeah, what's the new number? I'm gonna go 10 to 12 inches. 10 to 12 inch? Yeah. I could buy that. I'll buy stock in that. Oh, this is cool. We're gonna go through these. I love these things. Oh man. Okay. What'd you say that was now? That's Sibley Peak. Okay. It's uh... And that's the peak we saw earlier. Yeah, that's the okay. one earlier, all craggy. It's a uh, a provisional peak on Peak Bagger, so I don't think Sibley is its official name. Right. But that's what people have taken to calling it. Cool. And there is a scramble route up it. It just looks kind of icy right now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I okay. think it's just, I think you head up to the saddle and then walk the ridge. Hmm. Well, let's keep going. eerie quiet up here. Except for the hikers. Go ahead of me. Okay. I'm gonna go up here. There you go. It's amazing. You know, sometimes, you know, you've spent all week working. Even if you feel like you might have accomplished something behind that desk, you're still kind of getting that seasonal depression. You need to come out here. 
and get some of that good medicine because uh, this cures all all ailments and uh, you go back refreshed on the moral high ground ready to grind again for the week thinking about this I think about this a lot I know a lot of our viewers do too so whenever you can get out of that gym and get into the wilderness oh, you might see us out there in fact, a few of you have been seeing us out here, and it's been great. Ah. And a little, a little weird, because people just call you out by name walking down the trail. Hey, Nick. Hey, Jen. You're like, oh, hi. You don't know me. I've seen you on them YouTubes. Yep. Which also reminds me, get out from the YouTube sometime, you know? Go explore yourself. Even if you can't, find a way to uh, explore the little things in life. It's all about not wasting your time on this beautiful rock. Because <sighs> we only got so much of it, right Jen? Amen. Amen. <sighs> all right, enough pontificating. Let's hike. All the geese going crazy. <sighs> so I just talked to uh, an individual. I noticed there's a bunch of people just like going down. And I talked to a guy and I said, hey, how was it? He said, didn't make it. I'm like, oh. And uh, I mean, he has a wife and kids, little ones. Um, feet were getting cold. Too much snow. So I'm curious to see. There's more people up here. Let's see what they say. All right, so the dude behind me back there, uh, they're taking a, a food break, gave me his beta. He's done this before, um, but not in these conditions. So let's take a look and see what we're dealing with. Okay, so there actually is two people up here. There's this little frontal ridge. You gotta get over that, and then you're gonna hook up this side of the face, because on top of this guy is a uh, lookout. And that's what you shoot for. Um, but the route here is unknown. There's these two people kind of cutting one. And if I don't want to take their route, I got to cut my own. So Jen's coming up behind me at some point, but we'll see. Um, we'll go as far as we can and play it safe. It's getting exciting. These people ahead are cutting the trail. And uh, snowy craggly peaks with a foot of snow always look intimidating and they should so I'm gonna get probably the saddle and then wait for Jen to catch up Couple more people turn back. I let Jen catch up. There's three people in front of me and we're all very close. Just gotta make it over this ridge and then down and then take the windy face up. And we'll get as close as safely possible. All right, Jen, how you doing? Good. Jen's doing good. Uh, hiking in the snow, it's hard. Yep. There's another group right there coming down. So that means they potentially summited.
Uh, look out up there. There's no tracks. Uh, maybe the volunteers might make it. And then Hidden Lake Peak is up here. And it'd be so much easier if there wasn't snow on it, just to granite walk it. But we're gonna cut back down, hop over this, and see what the general vibe is like. All right, Jen's coming through the transfer. And you can see there's the lookout peak. You go through this and then basically follow that gnarly mother up. Well, can't bag them all, right, Jen? We're, we're a bit snowed out. It's, we're about 200 feet below the, uh, the lookout itself. We can mm -hmm. see the summit of Hidden Lake South Peak. Oh, there are plenty. Yeah, there's plenty of high back. It's just snow all the yeah. way up the face. Yeah. Um, we're not, I think we're not going to do this because, because it's a boulder hop, basically, all yeah. the way up. And it's a little route findy um, mm -hmm. when there's no snow. Uh, they have cairns to mark the easiest way, but other than that, you're just hopping boulders all the way up. And when you have this much snow, that's just inviting post holing <laughs> and horrible things. So yeah. we're gonna play it safe and just stare at the peak longingly. And right here, come let me back another day. Let me show you what's going on here. So here's the pass, and uh, where these women are is um, these boulders here are really big, and the snow is probably about waist deep. And then you can see a little like trail coming up here that then hooks and then goes over and then you'd come up into the face the other way. But this is so dangerous, there's no way I want any part of that. Um, so that's why we're here. Uh, but Hidden Lake, have you seen Hidden Lake yet? I did, I saw it earlier on the other side so of the So what side. is it, it's not hidden anymore, it's like, well, oh it's always hidden. It's hidden because you until have to- Until you see it. Right. <laughs> it's hidden by the two peaks because you don't see yeah. it until you get up to the saddle. That's right. Um, and speaking of which, it took us three hours to get up here, um, just under four miles and uh, roughly 3,000 feet. So it's a good hike. It's a, it's, it's actually a really enjoyable hike because you have that first bit of gain and then you get up and you're staring at, what was that peak called again? Sibley Peak. Sibley. Uh, beautiful peak. Love it. Um, and then it's kind of like flat and just meanders around and then it just cooks up a little bit to here and then you know it's the challenging part um it's a really just great hike i can see why uh why it's so popular yeah and it's just there's, there's no car there's no space for cars practically so get here as early as you can and it's far it took us uh two hours and like two and a half hours from seattle yeah with with zero traffic yep in the morning yeah it's gonna be a fun drive back always is but uh, I can't really spin you around, but um, I've been trying to like give you some really good shots here and there. So when we come back, uh, not only would we, will we get to the lookout mm -hmm. and find the geocache up there, oh, wow. but we'll also tag the, uh, the actual summit, which is um, the, the high point, the northern. How northern much higher is it Lake than uh, the lookout? Uh, it's not terrible. It's like 150 or 200 feet higher. It's not, oh. it's not much. It's about 45 minutes uh, to get from the lookout to the true summit. Cool. Um, class three, more boulder hopping. Nice. Boulders all the way. Boulders for days. There's And there's a path up uh, Sibley Peak as well. So you could mm. come in here and just wander around, topping out and staring at everything. And That'd as, be great. From I'd like that. From all I've heard and from what we can see here, you, you just have this incredible 360 panorama. It's of legit. The entirety of the North Cascades. Oh, what did he say incredible. that big one was? There's a volunteer guy. Oh, um. Shoot, I forget. El Dorado it's and the El Triad. It's not <gasps> and Mount, I think, for, or Forbidden Peak, I think. No. Forbidden. Let's take a look. Here's your hidden lake. I forget what that is. Maybe I can put it right here. Uh, we'd be able to see a lot more if it wasn't for all those clouds. And then here's your hidden lake peak up there. And then a lot of the people have topped out over here. Coming around. Here's your pass, and then there's your lookout. And then here's your, your gen, careful, that's a cornice. I know, I'm not stepping on it. I'm just making sure. I'm stepping on the rock in the heather. Oof, yeah, there you go.